Okay, hi guys. I am literally so excited. I'm so freaking pumped that we have Nay on. Um, literally guys, every time I'm around this girl, I'm seriously so inspired by her. And I saw her in person and I was like, will you be on my team Zoom? Because I just freaking love what she's doing, guys. Um, it's so funny because Cassie said it tonight. She was like, Nay is one of the most consistent people on my team. And that's so incredible because Nay has been in this business almost six years, right, Nay? Or is it exactly six? It, it, uh, seven? Holy crap. Is it seven? What? No, what? That's crazy. Okay, literally, that's awesome. So that just goes to show, guys, like, obviously, she's still consistent after this many years. She's doing something right because she's constantly moving up. Um, so, Nay, I know that a lot of people are, like, new that are on here. So if you could just give us, like, a little snippet of your story and, like, who you are, just a little background before we get started into what you're doing. It'd be seven in April, so six and a half years, but still, like, can't even believe it's been that long. But hi guys, so my name's Nayara. I joined this business as a 19 year old broke college student um, six and a half years ago with my best friend, Cassie. She joined this business and then like three days later, she's like, do this with me. Um, at the time I was working two jobs. So I was a waitress and I was working at a hair salon actually with Cassie. Um, and I was just super broke and going to school full time, literally making minimum wage, working as a waitress, basically for tips. My sister still works as a waitress now on top of her full-time nine to five. And literally like when you're a waitress, you just work for tips because your hourly pay is like $4 an hour. So, you know, I just was like working to get by, but never had enough to like do extra things I wanted to do. Never had enough to save, barely had the money for my bills. So when this opportunity was presented to me by Cass, obviously I didn't have the $99 to join. So I asked my mom, she let me borrow the money to join and get started. Um, you know, and this business has completely changed my life. Like from the moment I joined till today, like I just would never have imagined like me as a 26 year old, like being able to accomplish so many of the things that I have to this day. Um, if I had just gone to school, gotten a job and, you know, I mean, me and my sister talk now, now still. And I mean, she's not in the business with me. I know it's crazy, but some, it's just like not meant for certain people and that's okay. And, um, you know, she works a full-time job. She has her master's degree and, you know, she's like, how do people survive? I'm like, exactly you know it's just it's just crazy because life is so expensive to be able to keep up with and i know that if i wasn't with it works i my life would be so much different i would still be living at home i would still have student loan debt you know i was able to pay off my student loan debt within 10 months after i dropped out of school and i was on like a 10-year payment plan just paying the minimum every single month um, you know, so fast forward, I joined this business. I took it very seriously right away. Um, my first month I went Ruby. My second month I went Emerald. And my third month I went Diamond and earned the $10,000 bonus that was being offered at the time. Diamonds make full-time income. So that like changed my whole perspective because I didn't join thinking I was going to be successful. I didn't join thinking I was like going to make it. I was like, okay, I'm going to join, go Ruby get the bonus and quit basically that's what I was thinking but I was like wait if I can go ruby one time in one month like I can do it again go emerald and go diamond because if you look at our charts it's all ruby so I was like in my head I was like okay if I did that in one month I could just keep duplicating that and doing it over and over again and climbing the ranks and that's what I did but when I got to diamond it really changed my mindset my perspective for the business because like I said I didn't join like seeing long-term results in this. It's so funny because, um, you know, if it weren't for Cassie, I totally would have like quit sooner because she joined with just the mindset that this was it. Like she, like she knew, she already had the, the mindset that this business was it, but I didn't. It took me three months to have that mindset and know that once I saw the results of Diamond. So, you know, I went Diamond. I went to my first conference. Eight months later, I left I went there as a diamond and I left as a double diamond. And, and then one month later, I promoted to triple until my first five figure monthly like paycheck. And that was only nine months into my business. Um, you know, and it's my, like everything has changed. A year later, I went uh, presidential. And then a year and a half later, I went to the top of the company and my ambassador diamond. And, 
you know, it's been such a journey and, um, you know, I've had so much growth in my business and my life through this business. And it's taught me so much, but, you know, I would not be able to do the things that I do now without this business. And I know a lot of you on here are probably new or working towards like a lot of goals and you hear me speak and you're like, oh my gosh, like I can never be where she is. I can never do that. I get that because I would sit on Zooms as well and be like, no, I'll never be able to do, to do the five figure paychecks. Like I'll never be able to get to the top. Um, when I did my millionaire club, sweet speech on um, at conference I said that like I never met like I I would look at the people up there I'd see the top income earners walk across stage million club millionaire club members like get inducted and I just never thought that that would be me like in that position but you know when you work hard and you're consistent and you don't give up you'll be able to accomplish all the things that us on here say that we're able to do because I would look at like Jade Hooper, Alyssa Bill, you took me her, like all these people back then when I would like get on Zoom, they would be speaking and I'd be like, wow, like if only, if only, but just know that if you're on here tonight and you're feeling that way, like I'm literally no one special. I dropped out of school. Like I had had awful grades in school. Like I didn't have a direction and where I wanted to go, but this business takes like no skill to do what we do. Like it's really simple and it's so freaking easy, but a lot of people just give up when it gets hard, you know? And, and I, and I have to say that after 2020, like things got hard for the first time ever in my business, but not once last year in 2020, did I not show up on my stories? Not once did I not work my business. Were there days that I just like literally didn't want to do a single thing? Yeah. I like didn't want to do much. I didn't want to host Zooms, but I still showed up every single day for my business because that's just what you do. No matter how hard things get or how good things are, you show up in both of those times. So you know, fast forward to now, I'm 26 years old. I've been in this business for six and a half years. I literally grew up in this business because I joined as a 19 year old college student. And now I'm 26. Like I've grown up so much. I've matured so much. You know, I've made stupid financial decisions. I've like learned from those things. And this business taught me so much that like, you know, not even school taught me some things that my parents didn't teach me, you know? So this, this business is so much more than just the money. It's brought me so much freedom, my friends. Um, and it's taught me so many lessons as well. So yeah, that's a little bit of my story. Okay. Did anybody else like have chills the whole time she was talking? Like the fact that you were talking about millionaires club and you were like all those people, like I don't look like them or, oh my gosh, like that could never be me. All those things. Like I, I literally felt that in, in so many like different ways throughout my business. Like, can I get a one? If you guys have ever felt like that, like drop a one in the chat. If you've ever looked at someone and been like, I don't think like I could ever do that. Like that could never be me. I'm not really supposed to be successful. I feel like we all have this like image of what we think successful should be and nay like some of us like think like that's our, you are our image now and it's crazy because somebody else was yours and it's just it's it's insane to see that like in this business like you said there's no skill there's there's no talent like that, that there's nothing that you can't learn in this business and you can be there too now don't get down on yourself if you're not a millionaire in four years right you're not in the millionaires club but i can tell you right now like if you do it in five years are you going to be mad no because you wouldn't have done that at your nine to five you wouldn't have done that at your other job right or you know being there for your kids and just being present in your life like all these things are gifts from the business and i feel like sometimes we can get so caught up in like you said when things aren't happening or things get hard and we can really get stuck in that for a little bit longer than we probably want to but what matters is that you get out and you keep moving forward and you stay consistent consistency is huge and that's why i want to talk about next is consistency and belief so i know that host of is how you're building your business right now which is you know i've been like nay come on host of us like let's freaking go and you were like that's not for me no 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 like for the longest time and so I just had to ask before we step into consistency and belief, like really what changed for you? Like what made you do host of us? Because for so long you were like, that's just not me. I don't do that. You know what I mean? 
Right. So in June, I had a really crappy enrollment month. And I know for some, it might not be crappy. It's just for me, I'm just always going to be the toughest on myself because how I think of things is if like, I know that my team's going to be following what I'm doing. And if I'm not being the best, like my team's not being the best. So I've always want to be the best I can be um, to lead my team in that way as well. So in June, I had a really crappy enrollment month. And like, I remember like being in Jamaica with Mitch and just like sitting down and thinking one night, I was like, you know, like I have to go into July, like doing more. And I have to be like, I have to be honest with myself. Like, like I'm not doing one thing in my business, um, that I should be doing. And for me, that was host to post. And I, and I went live on my team page and I said, like, let's be honest with ourselves. Like, because it's so, it's so easy to blame the business for not working. It's so easy to blame your boyfriend for taking time out of your day. It's so easy to blame the dogs, the kids, like your work. Right. But it's, but honestly, I like when something's going wrong in my business, I'm the first to blame. Like, I, like I know I am like, it's because I'm not doing something. I'm not making time for it. I'm not waking up early enough. I'm not going to bed later, you know, or I'm just, just choosing not to do it. So for me, that was host to post. I had to just be honest with myself and say, okay, like if I want my business to excel in July, I really have to do host to post. I really do. And, um, I did, you know, and, and for me, I just, I feel like I hated host to post because like, I would put up like a giveaway post on my feed and I would get like five comments and then I'd message those five people. I'd have them host post for me. Maybe one would post for me. Right. And then it's like, okay, host post sucks. Right. So I was like, what I'm going to do differently. And this is so funny because in 2016, I think when me and Cassie were like, we're not really seeing results on Instagram. I just went in and started messaging my followers. And I told Cassie, I was like, I'm just going to start messaging my followers and see how it goes. I'm going to start cold messaging them. And, and I remember Cassie being like, Oh, good luck. Cause we used to just message our likers on our, our pictures. And that's how we would get like cold message, but that wasn't enough, you know? So I was like, I'm going to go into my Instagram um, followers and start messaging every single person down the list. She's like, Oh, good luck. That day enrolled four LCs right away. And she hopped on the bandwagon right away. So um, I was like, okay, like I'm going to do exactly what I do on Instagram. I'm going to go into my friends list. I'm going to start messaging all of my friends on Facebook and I'm going to message them about host to post instead of waiting for people to comment my host post picture on my feed and barely get comments. I'm just going to be proactive and go into my friends. So that's what I did. I literally started going down my friends list and my message is I can send it. I mean, Haley, I'm sure has this message, but it just says, um, I'll read it off to you guys. It just says, hi, hi, can you do me a quick favor? You don't need to buy any products or anything. So I literally just send that message to my like random people on my friends list. Like I don't have any like organized way I do it. I literally just go to my friends list, send the message. When they answer, I say, me and my teammates are doing a giveaway for however much it is for that month. Um, we're giving away this. The winner will be drawn this day. And all you have to do is put up a post on your wall and I'll enter you. Sounds good. And that's it. And they're like, okay, yeah. So I started sending out the cleanse host to post in July um, because Emily had told me that she was doing cleanse host posts and that was working really well for her. So I just started doing that as well. So it's a cleanse picture with a caption that I'm pretty sure Haley has as well. Um, and it just blew up and it was like, like such a mindset shift for me because I was like, okay, like I complain that Facebook doesn't work for me. And then I just don't work it because literally I did not work Facebook. Like I just didn't, like I, I barely posted on my, my feed. I finally discovered that I could connect my Instagram and Facebook together so I can post stories like from my Instagram to my Facebook. So I didn't even post stories on Facebook. Meanwhile, all the other leaders are proactive on Facebook, but I wasn't. So like, but then it's like, I'll work Instagram. Instagram doesn't always work for me. I don't always get responses, but I'm always consistent with that. So why can't I be consistent with Facebook? Like, it just doesn't make sense why I was picking and choosing to just work Instagram and not Facebook. 
when I have both platforms and I should be taking advantage of both. So it really clicked for me in July and host to post started picking up for me right away after being super consistent with messaging and just talking to as many people as I can. And, and when people would order from me on, on Facebook, um, I would just say, Hey, can you put up a quick post for me? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. And I would give them the same cleanse post that they commented on. I would give it to them so they can post on their wall for me. And I was just literally every single person I talked to on Facebook, I was just like, post this, post this, post this. And I was just like, wow. Like, and I was like, I'm going to give it a month of being consistent with it. Like, I'm really going to give it my all to see like, if this is it. And if it's not, I'm going to, I was eventually, I was like, okay, I'm going to give up. But I was like, okay, I'm going to at least give it a month. And I did. And July was incredible. Like June, I enrolled 24 LCs and July I enrolled 78. And half of it was from host to post and half of it was from Instagram. I kept track of where they were coming from because I was just super curious to see. And if I had not been consistent with host to post in July and what, like changed everything for me too was like it was so exciting obviously for me to enroll but then I talked to Britt one of my leaders and I was like and I knew she was in the same mindset as me I had a long talk with her in the beginning of July and I was like you have to be consistent with me like let's keep each other accountable she'd send out messages she'd be like hey did you do your messages she would send me screen recordings and then when she was messaging she'd be like hey like make sure you're messaging I'm doing it now too um and we just kept each other accountable and now Brit's team, I'm in her leadership chat. Her girls are absolutely killing it with host posts. And I know her girls were not doing host posts before this because she wasn't doing it. So she wasn't teaching her team how to do it. And not only did it have an effect on me, but it had an effect on my team because then I was confidently able to say, hey, do this. Then Brit started to see results. And then she was confident enough to go in and teach her team. And then her team is now killing it with 148 or 145 BV orders left and right that I see in her chat from me doing that and taking the initiative to, to just do it. So, um, yeah, that's, I just literally dove into host post and now I can get on zooms and tell my team, Hey, do it. Because honestly, if you watched any of my zooms, if you've got any of my zooms before, you would never hear me talk about host post because I'm not going to talk about something that I'm not personally doing. Cause I'm not going to expect my team to do that. If I'm not doing it, I mean, I don't get on here and tell my team to get on Facebook live because I don't do Facebook live. So I'm not going to ever expect them to do something I'm not doing. If they're doing something that I'm not doing good for them, you know, like that's inspiring, but I'm not going to sit here and tell them to do something if I'm not doing it myself. So I was then confident enough to just go in and teach my team. And it's changed so many of my leaders businesses. One of my girls, Shannon, she went Ruby last month and she, that was her first month of actively working her business. She went from having 300 in volume in June to last month, she ended with 2,300 in volume and went Ruby, all from host post. I did not place one single customer under her. It was all her. She promoted to Ruby on her own and she enrolled 27 customers. And that was her like first month of actively working the business because she joined in June and didn't do anything and then jumped in in July. So the ripple effect of me doing something changed things for me and for my team as well. I love that. I literally love that so much. Like, I, I love that you were just so like, oh my God, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then you're like, you know what? Why not give it a shot? Like, what did you have to lose by giving us a real shot? And I love that. And I love that you didn't just give it a day or you didn't just give it a couple of, you know, obviously a couple of host posts and um, you actually gave it, you were like, I'm going to give it a month and I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to be proactive. I'm going to send out the messages and I'm going to be consistent. And I'm going to do it every day. And that's when you see results. And I really believe that's with anything in this business, like host to post, TikTok, it doesn't matter, like messaging, Instagram, life posts, whatever. If you believe in it and you have the consistency behind it, you can't lose. Like you really can't. If you believe in something so much and you work at it every single day, why would it not come to pass? You know, like God is good and he rewards every single piece of effort that you put into something. And he did for host of post, like in 78 customers, like that's awesome, you know? Um, and one other thing that I really love that you said 
oh gosh, what was it? Um, I think it was about, oh, it was uh, with messaging. You were like, oh, like I would get up a giveaway post, five comments. That's why it sucks. That's why I hated it. So you did something else. You were like, wait a minute, other people are messaging. I should message. You know what I mean? Like I, I just love that because it's, it's not like if one method doesn't work, it's like you're doomed, right? You literally have so many other avenues in this business. There's not just one way that we work this business, right? There's multiple avenues and there's multiple avenues to work coast to post, right? Like my giveaway posts haven't been doing that great either, Nay. Like when you said that, I was like, wait, me too, which is crazy because mine usually get hundreds of comments. I'm lucky if I'm getting 50 now. I don't know what's up with the algorithm, but I'm like, that's okay. That's not going to slow me down. I'm going to send out messages. So I did. And I got up seven in the last hour and a half, guys. Like, it's literally just being proactive and doing the things because you know that it works. So I love that you talked about that. Um, so what does a day for getting up host to post look like for you? Like how many messages do you think you need to send out? And like how much time do you honestly feel like you spend like sending out those messages? Um, like I was just curious about that because I feel like some people think like it's going to take all day or I got to sit in my office chair all day long to do work 24 seven, you know, but you're a really busy girl. So. Yeah. So for me, I split up my messages. I think I do about 100, 150. And personally for me, let me start off by saying like, whatever is working for you guys, do not change it. If I'm doing something different, like I, like, I feel like so many people get on zoom, share their tips, which are great. And then people start to change what they're doing. But if something's working for you, don't change it because I'm doing something differently. If something's not working for you, then yeah change it. Okay. So I always like to say that because I always want you guys to know, like, just because I'm doing something and it's working for me, like, doesn't mean you have to change your whole system. Like keep doing what you're doing if it's working for you. So for me, Facebook is strictly host posts and Instagram is strictly like just messaging for customers and distributors. Um, I don't host posts on Facebook. I just do strictly on Facebook. I mean, on Instagram, I just do strictly on Facebook. So um, I send out about like a hundred, 150 a day, you know, sometimes I can't get to the 150, but I do, I do at least my hundred messages a day on Facebook. And honestly, like a hundred messages sounds so much, but you can get through that so fast. Like, obviously I don't do it all at once. Like I'll split it up. Like I'll do like, I don't know, like 20, 25, and then like another 20, 25, and then another 20, 25. Like if you time it out, like I can guarantee that I can get through those messages, those 20, 25 messages in under like a minute and a half. Um, you know, and I mean, if you're doing 10 million other things, if you're checking Instagram, if you're playing with your dogs, if you're watching a TV show, football, or talking to people, yeah, it's going to take you probably five, 10 minutes to do that. But if you're sitting down and just focusing on that one thing and getting it done and not answering anyone's messages and not just focusing on everything else, you'll get it done fast. And I do, like I get it done super fast. Then I'm able to answer my people throughout the day, get my host to post up, check my comments to see if anything's there. And like, that's just what I do. And it's, it's really not time consuming guys. Like if before, when I joined this business and I was super busy, I mean, now I am too. There's some days obviously that there's not much going on around here. Like today was a super chill day. I had no plans, but then there's other days that I have like back to back to back things going on. One-on-one taking the dogs to vet, grocery shopping, like taking my car to get, um, service, you know, it, it's busy. So, um, for me, I know I need to get up early to do certain things. Like on Friday, um, me and Lindsay and Britt wanted to get to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. And then I had to bring my car to get serviced at 1045. So we had to go to Chick-fil-A and then I had to be back here by 1045 to bring my car to get serviced. So I knew in my head, okay, the night before I was like, okay, I'm going to set my alarm super early because before I leave for Chick-fil-A, knowing that I have to go all the way to play, come back, get in my car and then bring it to get service and then come back. And that would be finally when I would start my work day. And I didn't want to wait that long to start. I woke up super early, got my, my messages out, got my follow-ups done before I went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, you know? So it's like for you guys, if you have like to get into a job or if you have to, if you know your day is going to be super busy, like after I got home from getting my car service, it was pretty chill. But at that time I got home at like 12 and I didn't want to wait till 12 o'clock to get things going with my business. 
So I knew that I had to wake up early. So I did. Did I want to wake up early? No. Like I looked at my alarm clock went off and I was like, this sucks. Like I technically don't have to be up right now. I have to be up five minutes before Chick-fil-A to roll out of bed to, to go with the girls. But I knew that I wanted to get up early to get those messages done. So for me, when I was in school um, and working, I knew that I had to get up at least 30 minutes before my actual alarm clock went off because I wanted to lay in bed, get my messages out, do my follow-ups, check in with my team, you know, so that's the type of discipline like you guys need as well, is if you know you're going to have, if you're doing this full time, you know what your days are going to look like. Like I know tomorrow, as of right now, I don't have much going on. I'm looking at my plan. Yeah, I don't have much going on. I don't have you know, I don't technically have to be up at a certain time knowing that my day is going to be super busy. So, you know, I'm always trying to plan ahead because I know that I need to get stuff done before my day gets super busy. Or if it's a day like tomorrow where it's chill, I can wake up. I can have a slower morning. You know, I don't need to time things out. But for those of you who do have jobs, what was important for me and what still is to this day when I know I'm going to have a busy day is just prioritizing and being disciplined to like get up earlier, go to bed a little later, even when I don't feel like it. And, you know, getting those host post messages up is like very easy and simple. You just have to like want it and be consistent with doing it. And then obviously when you see the results from it, you're going to want to like do it. It's like addicting. You want to continue to see those results and be on that high so you're going to continuously want to get them out so you can keep up with that and let me say really quick the the word that you just kept saying over and over and over again that my ears were like ding ding as you said it every time was simple like and your mindset about the whole thing is simple like do you know how many people will overcomplicate? like host to post and be like, oh my God, if I send out this many messages, then I have to get this many people. To the girl is like, let me send out my 20 and then I'm going to Chick-fil-A. Like, and I know people are going to post for me the confidence behind it too. Like you already know that you're going to get up all your host to posts. You know what I mean? And um, that's another thing. So as far as like number, do you have a number? You're just like, no, I get up as many until like I see results. Like it's like minimum 10 or 15 or however many. I had a talk with one of my girls the other day. Like I personally, for me, I don't like to have this pressure of having to get up a certain amount each day because I know that by doing the work and being consistent, like I'm going to get a post post every single day, no matter what. So personally for me, I don't have like, oh, I need to get this, you know, up. I should, because I kind of have that with my customers. Like I kind of am like, I want this many customers a day, you know, but I just know that, by getting messages out there, I'm going to get a post post every single day. The only way I'm not going to get up a host post if, is, is if I'm not messaging for them. Right. Um, you know, I, I mean, for me, I try to get up as many as I can, if that's like 10, 15, 20, you know, and if I don't get up that much, that's fine. You know, I'm getting up, I'm getting them up every single day. And the more I get up, I know the more results I'm going to see. Um, and also just being consistent with following up guys too, um, in my messenger, like that's become a new routine I have now, because now that I have my Facebook platform growing for me, usually I wake up and I just do my follow-ups from my Instagram, but then now being routined with doing my follow-ups with host posts, you know, if, if someone was going to get up a post for me, making sure that they got that post up and I'm like, hi, did you do it? Or did you put up the post? Or if someone commented on the cleanse post and was interested, I gave them the price and they didn't answer, I go in and follow up the next day, you know, and just creating that routine with those things that weren't normally a part of my routine because Facebook wasn't something that I was doing. So, you know, just being consistent with those things, you know, if you have, I would say, yeah, have goals, you know, I should be having goals of how many hosts I want to get up every single day too, but I'm just confident enough that I know that if I'm messaging for them, I'm going to get them up. Um, and the only way I'm not going to get them up is if I'm just not messaging for them at all, or, or not putting in enough work for it. And if you, and if you have that goal, and if you're not reaching that, do more of what you're already doing. That's like, my girls are always like, what can I do? Like to end the month strong? Like, I always believe in not just doing one specific thing, do it all, but do more of what you're already doing, you know? And that's, that was something for me that I had to work on is I wasn't doing one thing, which was host post. Like I do everything else. Like I'm super consistent with everything, but host post is just something I wasn't doing. So I knew that that had to be added into my routine every single day and just doing more of it all, including host posts, 
like changed my business last month because I was mass enrolling. My girls were doing the same thing on top of their already enrollments from Instagram because people weren't working Facebook because I wasn't, you know, and that's like a huge ripple effect that has on not only me, but my entire team as well, because if I'm not doing it, my leaders aren't doing it. You know, there could be some rare people that are doing it, but like most likely if I'm not doing it, like Britt wasn't doing it, which is huge, which means her team is not doing it, you know? So, um, I just try to get my, I get my messages out and just try to get up as many host posts as I can up every single day. I love the confidence that just radiates from you the whole time. Sorry, my nose is like driving me crazy. I literally was like sitting here and I'm like confidence, like just seriously just oozes out of you in the best way of like, I'm going to get the results because I put the work in. Why would I not get the results if I don't put the results, if I don't put the work in? And I think also what I love is when you just said, because I'm the same way. I can't expect my team to do something that I'm not doing. If I'm showing up and I'm doing host to post, I expect my team to do it. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's literally the same thing, guys. You can't expect your girls to bring in hundreds of customers. If you're not even bringing in two, like it's, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, you can't wish for like this, like miracle to like happen in your business when you're like putting in this much work, you know, God can't provide you this big size miracle. Right. So I always think about that. I always think like every single step I make in this business, every single like ounce of work that I put in, it's always being blessed. It's always going to come around. Even if that means, and I feel like you would agree with this, Nay, even if that means like my host supposed to only get a couple of comments, they're all going to order. They're all going to order. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we get so focused on the little stuff of like, oh, I only got this many likes or right. this many comments, like, or even this many host posts up, but it's like, it doesn't yeah. matter, you know, like celebrate your win, celebrate the two host posts that you got up, celebrate the 10 comments on each of those two host posts, because like, that's amazing, you know? So I think that celebrating your wins, like the small ones is super important because we're always so hard on ourselves. We want these huge numbers, huge accomplishments, which is great. But, you know, I've learned to like celebrate the small wins as well, because those I feel like go unnoticed. Um, and we're just always so hard on ourselves. So um, 100%. yeah. And I was going to say, so you talked about follow-ups and this is my last question for you. Mm -hmm. You talked about follow-ups, right? Can you talk about organization for your host of Because I feel like so, like for me, I'll do like a little album, like I'll make a new collection and I'll title it like August HAP and I'll save each of my posts by clicking the three dots on the top right-hand corner. I'll click save post and then you can type in a new collection, but obviously it's right there. It says August HAP and I save them and then I'll go to my saves and I'll see them all there. Do you do the same thing? Or so you're, you're a little more organized than me. For me, I just have them tag me and I go to my review posts and they're all there for me. You know, I, you could do the collections. What I just they don't tag you. I have all my people tag. They me. all tag you. Okay. And I know some people, some people don't have people tag them, you know? So if you, if you're one that sends a post and you're like, if you're, if you don't specifically tell them to tag you, the collections is important because then you can put it into collections and see it all right there in one space. I have my people tag me. So I have all of them in review tags and it says it in my, my specific thing, like make sure you tag me and let me know once it's up. So once they say, okay, it's posted, I always go to their page to make sure it's actually there and I'm actually tagged. So I don't miss anything. Um, and then it's all my review tag. Like for me, I don't, I'm like not super organized. Like I always say I'm not like the Excel type person organized, but you know, I try to stay as organized as I can. Like I have this planner that I love. It's called the day designer planner. So in here, I'm able to like write things down that I need to do throughout the day with my follow-ups. Um, just make lists of like one-on-ones that I have to do. Um, and then I cross things off as I get them done with my orange highlighter. Like if you see here, like my, my planner is like constantly highlighted because it's like when I get things done, like I highlight it. And then the things that are not done here, I see one thing that I didn't do on August 3rd. It's not highlighted because I didn't do it, you know? So I have all of my posts and review tags and then there I go. Um, and you know, some days I just like, I think it was like, three days ago, I went down and I just like went back, like really far back just to make sure that, um, 
I didn't miss anyone. And I kind of like went back through the comments and like was clicking people's pages and see if they messaged me or if I didn't message them. And I just go through that way, but I don't have like this system. I mean, Haley, you're probably way better to speak on that than me because you're like the host post queen. Um, I just started doing host post last month consistently. So, um, but I think that, you know, organization, it could be kind of like overwhelming for some people, you know? Um, for example, Emily, one of my really good friends, like she hates planners. Like I, she always asks me like, how are you organized? Like, how do you get things done? And I taught her the planner and what I do with my planner and the system I have. And she's bought like three, four, five different planners. Nothing works for her with planners. Like she just doesn't do the planners. She does alarms on her phone. Like if you hang out with Emily, like her alarms go off all day long because that's how she keeps organized with like her follow-ups, things she has to do. Like we'll be like in a conversation, her alarm will go off and she'll be like, wait. Um, but you know, so don't feel like with organization, you have to have it like all together, you know, whatever works for you. And that's why I love this business so much. Like, you know, Haley does a collection thing with hers. I do the review tags, like, you know, just know that like, you don't have to like fit this perfect match and do a certain thing, you know, to be successful or work your business, you know, as long as you know that you're not missing like any comments, any people, you know, do your own way that you feel works best for you. And I think that that that's, that's what you need to do to be successful in the business. You know, um, Haley does something completely different than me works for her. What I do works for me. And I always think that's important because like, I always like to get on Zoom and say like, you know, don't change something that's working for you. If someone else is doing something else. And I truly believe that. And like, you kind of just have to figure out what works for you and what make think what makes things easy for you and your business for it to be fun and like lighthearted and not like be super complicated and like annoying for you you know yeah yeah just get it done yeah no I love that I love that so much it's so funny because um I started doing the collection because people weren't tagging me and they'd be like yeah I posted and I'd be like okay and they didn't tag me even though it's in our wording right. and I'd be like oh I'll come back and check later I didn't come back and check and you later. Back. right so I started to save them and it got to be this fun thing because it was like oh I got one and like I'd save it you know what I mean and it, and like you said stick to the lighthearted and fun that's the one thing I do for organization on Osable right. because other than that I don't have anything else I do right, the problem it's not fun to be organized organize and like have to like do your charts and like write things down you know like sometimes like I'll like my desk is here and like sometimes I'll be like laying on my couch and know I have to get up and like do things on my desk like those things aren't fun but like if you make it a little like hearted and fun and just like exciting when you do those things like it could be a little less like dready to be organized you know I love that and one other thing it's kind of like a little off topic but it literally just popped into my head and when this happens I'm like I have to ask mm -hmm. so I noticed that you do and a lot of my girls have been talking about like power hours and I noticed that you do like power hours with some of your girls like that's freaking awesome do you guys just get on and like share tips or like how I was gonna say like how do you do that just turn on music and just like work together or yeah so for me I like literally the other day I was like doing a devotional and, um, and journaling. And I just like, for some reason, just felt like that I had to share my devote, like get on a power hour and like share it with other people. So like, I, I honestly usually don't do like collective power hours. Like I was very consistent with it, like during COVID and stuff, like I was doing it like at 1 PM every single day, like all of last year. And what we were doing is we were just doing tasks. Like I would just be like, it was like an hour. So I would take like 25 minutes each time and be like, okay, do this, do this, do that. Um, and we were playing music, but the other day I got on, um, and just started randomly sharing like a devotional journaling zoom thing. And what I did was I just started reading my devotional of the day and then journaling. So it's literally like 10, 15 minutes. Like it's super, super quick. Um, and sometimes I'll get on with power hours with like just one individual girl. And I feel like that's been helping a lot with a couple things, just building connections, um, you know, and, and not having it like with like a group, sometimes people can be overwhelmed with groups, you know, some people don't get on and things like that. So honestly, one of my girls, Corinne, um, she's a double on my team. Like she'll ask me like almost every day to power hour with her, me and her get on. We just literally like sit and work. Like we don't even have like 
certain things that we do. And then I get on with Shannon um, and we do random power hours as well. Um, and we listen to like podcasts and we just like do follow up, send messages out, get posts up on our feed, you know, and it's just nice to like hang out like since like obviously since COVID, like it's been so hard to like build in-person connections. Um, and I'm so red and I forget to just do that sometimes, but not because I don't like people, not because I don't like friends, not because I'm not friendly. It's just that I forget to do that. Um, and I feel like that something that like, I feel like I've been having to work on a lot is just build connections with my team and just realizing that like, I want the friendship aspect of it too in my business. Um, so that's like what we've been doing. We just like, I get on with just like one girl and we just like sit there and do certain tasks together. Um, but if you do like a big power hour, like I was hosting them last year, they were like, like 12 to 20 people were getting on. I would just give out tasks. I would say, all right, let's get our messages out. Let's put a, a story. Let's get some host to post out. Um, let's put something up on our feed. And it's nice because it gets you to do those things in that moment. And then it gets 20 other people at a time to do those things as well. And sometimes I would even say like, right in the chat once you're done. So I would know that they've done it already and we can move on to the next task. I love that. I love that so much. Literally, uh, Jess started doing those and she started doing a morning one. And that's so great because in the morning I can be a little bit slower to get my right. day started. I can have my coffee at like 2 PM and I'm totally fine, even though I should probably have it in the morning and like show my stories. Right. And that really like obviously pushes me. So I love that you do that with your team, even just like one-on-ones because we're going to start implementing those too. So that's awesome that you already do that. Cause I was like, Oh my God, I see Nay doing this. I, I, I was around like so many leaders at the, Island, they're like, we do one-on-ones. And I'm like, oh my God, why am I not doing that? That's so awesome. So I love that so much. And thank you so much for all of your tips and just pouring that belief and consistency and just obviously having that confidence behind their host post. So guys, drop a five if you guys took anything away from this. I'm so excited. I love that it's not you didn't get on here and we're like, I use this specific message and this specific thing, because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter if you believe in it and you have the faith and you have that confidence and you're freaking consistent with it. You're going to see results, no matter if it's coffee or cleanse or gummies or DT, it doesn't matter, right? You can literally post whatever and they're all on our boards app. So pick one, you know what I mean? And just run with it. And like you said, give it a real shot. Because up until now, I feel like, and you can totally like say yes or no, but up until now, I feel like you didn't give it that full real shot of like, yeah, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? And so if you guys haven't done that yet, let this be your sign. Let this be, please let this be your sign that you need to just go and actually give it a shot because you've got nothing to lose. Right. So I feel like if it's working for everybody else, it can definitely work for you. Um, yeah. And that's why I said to myself too. I'm like, it's funny because Emily was sending me screenshots of like her Facebook messenger for some reason in June. And I'm like, I literally asked her, I was like, well, how are your Facebook messenger like blowing up so much? Because mine weren't because I'm not working Facebook. So I was like, like, what are you doing? Like, why do you have so many customers like wanting info? And she's like, what do you mean? I'm just doing host posts. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, like, why am I not doing that? You know, like, and it's just the simplest thing of like, if you're going to like, Emily's literally not doing anything special. Like, I just, I don't know why, like, I know like, I've been in the business six and a half years. Like I know that there's no secret. There's nothing that someone's doing special that I'm not doing. It's just the fact that Emily was putting in the work for it. And I wasn't. So, you know, and I think that that's the biggest thing in your business is when you can be honest with yourself and say, yeah, and stop blaming everything else and be honest and say, yeah, like, I'm not doing this thing. I'm not doing the follow-ups or I'm not doing the host posts or post posting consistently. Well, that's why you're not seeing the results you like you want to see because you're not doing those things. And when I was able to just be honest with myself and then get on my team page and be honest with my team on a live that I wasn't doing host to post, like everything changed because I just started to put in the work and then my Facebook messenger looks like Emily's, you know? So it's like, I mean, obviously not every day, some days host post is like crickets. Some days it's blowing up, you know, but some days it's crickets on Instagram and then some days it's blowing up, but I choose to work Instagram every single day. So, you know, I'm choosing to do both platforms now and be consistent with it and post. 
Um, you know, and I think that once you start being consistent with something and you give it your full effort, you're going to see the results because I wasn't giving it my full effort. You know, I wasn't being consistent with it. Um, so I wasn't seeing the results that other leaders were like Haley, um, Emily, you know, and I know that those two leaders are super consistent with host folks. And I know that that's where a lot of their enrollments come from. So it's like, now I can confidently say like, I'm doing it too. And I'm seeing the results that they're seeing. So, you know, it's not that we're doing anything special or that there's a secret to it. It's just that we might be doing something that you're not. And that was my case in July. You know, I just, in June, I wasn't doing something that is so simple and that I know I should be doing. And I know that produces results that other leaders were doing. So, yeah. Heck yeah. You're freaking amazing. And now you're one of the leaders that rocks all the folks. You're going to use it forever. And you're going to be like, oh, look at me. Host the post queen. Right. You're going to love it. Well, I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you so much, Nay.